Coming from a very small school in South Carolina that didn't offer computer science at all, I had no idea really what it was so when I got in undergrad. I signed up for the DREW program, it's the Distributed Research Experiences for undergrad. So I signed up for that, I got matched with Dr. Howard here at Georgia Tech, and I absolutely loved it. I was like, oh my god, I love Atlanta, I love tech, and I was like, Dr. Howard might not know it yet, but I'm coming back. When I applied to grad schools, I knew Georgia Tech was my top choice. I was looking, getting into artificial intelligence and some machine learning principles, and I noticed that a lot of these systems didn't work well on children. I really wanna have the robot be able to analyze the child in a similar way that humans do when we interact with each other. And I feel like that interaction is such a key part of human-to-human -human interaction. And if we want robots to serve in these spaces in the same way that humans do, I feel like some, some basic things that they need are to be able to communicate. We read emotions from human to human is through the face. And so I said, okay, let's start with facial emotion recognition. When we teach robots how to recognize these similar trends, or in my case, how to recognize emotions, it all starts by having this large data set of images. In most cases, the images that we have are annotated by humans that have agreed and said, okay, this is a data set of, say, a million images, and each image has a label that humans agreed upon. This is happy, this is angry, this is surprised, this is sad. And when you have hundreds of examples of happy and hundreds of examples of sad, using all of this to make a very sophisticated guess of how the person they're interacting with might be feeling. I feel like the projects I'm working on are using AI and using machine learning and using robotics to actually change the lives of people who deserve to have this technology. And that was something that was really important to me and I'm glad that I was able to find that here at Georgia Tech.